The owner of a 24-hectare farm in Canterbury says the deaths of thousands of eels during stormy weather and high tides could have been prevented. The eel was washed up at Southbridge near Lake Ellesmere, 60 kilometres from Christchurch. Tim Sanson says he warned Environment Canterbury a storm was brewing and the seawall needed repairing. Keisha Brownlee reports. Thousands of eels. This is all the eels that were trying to migrate. Left high and dry, many of them for dead. To have to see those eels perish the way they did was um, not a very nice experience at all, you know, especially not for them, but it was, uh, it was pretty shit to watch and really, really disappointing. The eels were stranded during stormy weather and a high tide at the start of the week. I pulled 140 long fins out, couldn't save them all, um, just far too many. The stop bank that was meant to keep the saltwater seaside was damaged during a flood last year, creating pathways for the water to swamp adjacent paddocks as well as this creek. The eels come in here in March and they get ready to migrate and they're just swimming everywhere looking for a sniff of sea seawater to get there. Of course, you get the flood, no bank, straight in the creek, they're off across the paddocks. Environment Canterbury helped relocate thousands of the eels to sea during what it says was a natural phenomenon during this time of year. But Tim says if the stop bank on the public beach was maintained, it could have been avoided. Absolutely no need for it whatsoever. If it Two days on a bulldozer, I've got it on good authority from contractors and this would have been fixed last year. Environment Canterbury says coastal erosion is a New Zealand-wide problem and that it doesn't collect rates to manage coastal erosion on private land or fund repairs. It's still unclear whose problem it is to solve, but Tim Sanson at least has a solution. Reinstate the bank all the way down here, straighten the creek a wee bit down the bottom, no problem. Until then, stranded eels will move from life cycle to food chain. Kasia Brownlee, News Hub.